crackberry.com. Hi everyone, Adam Zeiss here for crackberry.com. I'm going to take you from A to Z with Blackberry App World. We go ahead and start up the application. The first thing we see is the featured items list. Uh, we can scroll through. There's any number of featured applications here. It shows you the title, the pricing, star rating, quick little blurb about the application. Uh, there's usually anywhere between 10 and 20. Uh, we can roll through. We click on one of the images. That'll bring you into the item details page. It shows you the title, uh, developer, the star rating, pricing, uh, the version number, and the size of the application. We scroll down the bottom. We can see the item details put in here by the developer. Developer. It'll show you any features, details on the application. Uh, we go back up. We see a couple buttons. We'll jump into the screenshots. We go ahead and click on that, and it'll give you a couple of screenshots for the application just so you can get a better idea of what it looks like. Um, it'll show you some images or just any logos or anything with the application. We also have the reviews button. We click through that. That'll load up user submitted reviews. It'll show you the overall star rating up top, uh, the individual ratings, and uh, quick uh, reviews from users. And then we have the purchase button. We click on that. Um, if we have a PayPal account set up, it'll let you go to the checkout screen, or if not, it'll tell you need to sign up through PayPal online. Um, then we go down to the menu bar here. The first one we have is categories. And this loads up all the categories in BlackBerry App World. You can see there's a fair number. Um, so we can scroll through and jump back up. And we go into one of the categories. And we'll go into entertainment. This will take you to the subcategories. Uh, so everything's split up here pretty specifically. Um, once that loads up, we see a number of subcategories. Um, we can go ahead and roll into one of them. We'll go to personalize. And this will bring you to the application list under this category. And you'll be able to scroll through all the applications that fall under here. And you see there's also a search bar up top, so you can search in the subcategory. This will show you both free and paid applications. You click through, it shows you the item details, the same as it was, with pricing. Uh, just click through to purchase. So we'll go ahead and back out. Um, we'll jump over to the second tab on the menu bar, which is everybody's favorite tab, is the top free, pay, uh, top free applications. Uh, this is the top applications that are free, downloaded through App World. You see BlackBerry Messenger 5.0 is number one. Um, we can scroll through, it just shows you a ranking in order of all the top downloaded applications. Um, we click through, shows the item detail page. Since we already, I have this installed, it just shows a run button, but we can jump down to one that I don't have installed already. Um, instead of the purchase button, it's going to show just a direct download button. So you click on that and it'll let you download it. Uh, you won't have to go through PayPal or anything like that. Next button on the menu, we have the top paid applications. And that loads up, looks just like the free, but it's all the premium applications. Um, in order, it shows you the pricing on the side. Next one we have is the search button. Uh, you can search for anything within App World, so we'll go ahead and look for BlackBerry Messenger. So we'll just type Messenger, and this should return everything with Messenger in the title of the application. Um, it'll pop up down here. We see Fuse, Windows Live, and we have BlackBerry Messenger. Um, we'll back out of that. And last but not least, we have My World, which is all your applications that you've purchased. So we see we have BlackBerry Messenger installed. It shows you the size. Um, and then any uninstalled applications or anything with upgrades, it'll show you here as well. So we have Lexless, we have uninstalled, um, so that'll just show a reinstall button instead of the purchase. Um, we can scroll, and if you have anything that's installed when you click on it, um, this will show you just a run button since it's already installed on the device. We pop up the menu, nothing extra special here. Uh, we have the memory bar, it shows you your free memory and total memory on the device. Um, we have view details, which is the same as if you were just clicking into the application. Um, it just brings you into the details. The menu items pretty match up, uh, match up with the icons on the bottom, so there's nothing really spectacular within that. So we can go ahead and back out. Um, we see we have recommend or contact support are really the only different ones. We close out of that. Same goes with the menu here. We see top free, top paid, search, and my world. They all match up. So we'll close out of that, and that's really all there is to it. That's BlackBerry App World from A to Z.